Hey Vision Pro community, uh, my name is Miguel or user Augmentos on social media. I had a few people reach out about how I got started into Vision OS development as a newbie. So I thought I'd make a quick video and share kind of my path and lessons learned and, and some resources. I'm not a YouTuber, so don't like, don't subscribe. This is just for me to share and, and I don't intend on posting any more videos. With that quick context, I'm a supply chain professional by day. I work in data cloud infrastructure procurement. I had no previous education or background in computer science or programming. I started learning Swift in late 2023, late last year, just out of pure curiosity in AR and VR, and published my first iOS AR kit app in December. From that experience, I got really encouraged just to develop and learn for, for Vision OS. So I did that. And now I have a few Vision OS apps under my belt. One of them, super proud, got featured on the front page of the App Store for the headset uh, just a few weeks ago. Now, I totally recognize that that trajectory from learning development to being featured on the App Store in four to five months is not a common path. Um, but I'm hoping that I can share some resources and encourage others to really just go for it because it's, I don't think I'm doing anything that novel and I thought the development experience wasn't as difficult as I imagined it. So I truly hope that this will encourage people to dive in. First, I want to talk about developing for the Vision Pro. And I think it's important to call out that developing for the Apple Vision Pro is a privilege. And I mean that in every sense of the word. You have to have a silicon-based Mac, which is at least a grand. You should have the actual headset because developing on the simulator, it works, but it's buggy and it doesn't do it justice. Like it's a completely different experience developing on the actual headset. So that's already three to four grand, right? And then <laughs> perhaps the biggest privilege of all is that you need to be in the United States of America. And that isn't necessarily easy for anyone that lives outside of the USA, right? You need to either travel here to get the headset, uh, you need to get a visa to come into the US. Um, so it's a huge, huge, huge privilege to be able to developing for the, for the Vision Pro. And of course there are workarounds around all, all these uh, barriers, but I think it's important to keep in mind that it's not gonna be easy for a student or literally anyone else outside of the country to be able to develop for the headset, which is unfortunate because there are, I'm sure, many, many amazing ideas and gifted programmers or people that don't even know that they're gifted programmers out there who are limited by these factors. But hopefully, you know, in the next coming year, we'll see the rollout of the headset to more countries and, and more uh, free kits for, for students and early developers. So now going on how I learn development. As I mentioned before, no background at all, I really just started learning iOS development first, and that was through reading uh, Apple's book on Swift, just understanding the basics of the Swift programming language. Uh, I didn't dive into the documentation first or immediately either, because that was reading through some of the pages was a bit over my head. Um, so instead I went to just YouTube videos and tutorials. Huge, huge, huge shout out to Sean Allen. I honestly don't think I would have learned all of this without his videos. He has an immense library of wonderful courses on YouTube. They're all free, of course. Uh, he has some paid courses, no affiliation, no sponsorship. I don't know the man. <laughs> I can vouch for him though. Uh, his lessons are amazing. Besides that, you know, there's a bunch of other free courses online, resources. I looked through some public open source code for iOS apps, really just kind of get an idea of how they built it. The key thing, if you want to learn or develop for Vision OS is to learn Swift UI, learn Swift AR Kit, and learn Reality Kit. And the three overlap in many ways, right? Um, but those, in my view, are the three fundamental blocks to getting Vision OS development. And in my experience, even if no one downloaded the app, even if I got zero downloads, it was still a huge accomplishment for myself to build and ship something out. At least I got through that first milestone. And then from there, you just fix it, right? You reiterate and, and you learn and, and you improve. So don't let that be kind of holding you back. Just put something out there, just go for it. There's 
nothing bad's gonna happen, right? Um, so that would be probably my, my biggest advice to end with. Now I also wanna talk about my thoughts on the headset as a developer and as a consumer. I do think that the Apple Vision Pro is the future. Now, I've never had an AR VR headset before, so this is a very biased, very narrow perspective, but I do truly feel that this is gonna be a game changer. Maybe not th this version, but the fundamentals are there. I think that a decade from now, many of the innovations and inventions that people are working on today will seem obvious in hindsight. The technology is so new, but the potentials are endless. And also, it's freaking cool to develop on the headset when you have your Mac Xcode virtual screen and then you're developing your app in 3D. Like, it honestly feels like that scene from Tony Stark when he's like developing and building whatever in 3D space with, with Jarvis <laughs> and AI. As a consumer of the headset, I love the headset. Is it expensive? Absolutely. <laughs> Do I use it every day? No. Do I think it's a developer kit more than a final consumer kit product? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but with that, for users that are that have the headset that are not developers but are just using it as consumers, um, but speaking for myself, but I think for many developers, like we super, super, super truly appreciate that for people that are downloading apps, just trying and seeing what's out there, leaving reviews, whether good or bad, sending feedback, that is so, so, so important for us because we're new to all this too. And we're trying to understand what do people like, what do people not like, and that really helps us build better apps and better experiences for the headset. I think I wanna end with just also thanking Apple. If anyone at Apple's watching, uh, huge kudos to building an amazing piece of technology like i it still blows my mind when i put on the headset that this is real in 2024 this is happening <laughs> that's it one final comment note uh i will be going to worldwide developers conference this year i somehow got the ticket luckily even though I'm, again, I don't, even it feels weird calling myself a developer still, so. But I'm hoping that I'll get to meet some of you. Email me, message me. I'd love to just meet fellow developers as well in this space. Thank you for watching. Cheers.